Good morning. Today, Jojo and I are going to the metro station to get closer to the Bangkok Center as we're outside of the Bangkok Center. And we'll be going to the... We're going to the Wat Phra Temple, guys. We'll be going to the Wat Phra Temple. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. I'm probably not, but apologies. And then we have other few things planned throughout the day, but I won't spoil them here. You'll just have to watch the video and see what we have planned out for today. So we're getting uh, metro from here up to here, and it costs 76 baht for two people. So we have finally arrived. Now we just need to go up these stairs and see the bright, bright sky. We just got out of the metro station. And now we're looking for directions. Mrs. Jojo got that sorted, she knows the directions. It's quite warm, no sun cream, no sunglasses, no hot, no nothing, do it the local way. So we're closer and closer to the entrance of the temple. It says here, welcome. The entry is 200 baht per ticket, which is somewhat reasonable price for what you get. One, two. One, two, and here you go. I like that the, uh, all the temples in Thailand are like self, self toured, self guided. You don't really need anybody. You just go and see what you want. Once again, if you came to this channel for some history lessons, you came to the wrong place. So at the moment, they're redoing some parts of this temple, which is also very nice to see that they're trying to preserve the, the statues and the paintings and the, just the whole surrounding. Oh, a little friend. Meow meow. Uh, not quite sure what's happening here, but there's some sort of a meet, meet up. Some sort of a conference is going on. Maybe they're the heads of this temple, and uh, no clue. Maybe they're deciding what to do with this, like not what to do, but what needs to get fixed, what needs to get touched up, you know. As you can see, a lot of, as I mentioned, a lot of stuff gets redone here. <laughs> so far I haven't seen a sign that says we cannot film. It's very helpful that there's a Wii map that shows you every attraction and every place in Thai and English. 40 different places that you can visit and see in this one temple. So it's definitely not a small temple. 200 baht is definitely worth it.
I'm gonna do all the wishes. We done all our wishes. Very, very good experience. Very happy we came here. Very happy we paid. Just happy overall that we visited this place. And I think you should as well if you're in Bangkok. We have left the temple. Now we're heading to our market. We asked few talk to the drivers where is the market. All we got is lies. One guy was like the market is there, but there's no food there. I can take you to another market, which was further away. But we were like, it's okay my friend. We'll just go and we have a look. We're in this local market, not your average market. But I think I might get some patai. So I just came to this local woman who's making pad thai and other dishes. So Jojo and I are just after food. This was then one of one of the nicest pad thai I had, and it was only 50 baht. It was without any meat. It came in looking like an omelet. I was surprised. I was like, maybe she gave me the wrong dish. But it just tasted. Oh, the flavoring. The, oh, I, I can't even explain how nice it was. Oh, it was definitely worth it. And only 50 baht. What else can you want? Jojo wants to show me some cafe with a beautiful view. But the problem is it only opens at 5 o'clock. There's another 40 minutes left till it opens. So we have found some greenery in here and we decided to have a seat. There's some nice guy there. So we're in the Eagle's Nest cafe slash bar. So we mostly came here for the views, not for the drinks, but you know, you, you still have to get yourself a drink. We're gonna wait till the sunset arrives and then probably hit the road, but it is a nice view even though there's people covering it, but it's still a very nice view. So glad Jojo and I have came at the right time. After we have sat down, there has been maybe 15 people who came after us. The entry is free, you don't have to pay. You're only paying three times, or even four times the price of regular beer. So for a bottle of my Chang beer that I got was 260, which is astronomical prices but you're paying not for the drinks, you're paying for the view basically. You're paying for the view. Entry's free. The view is beautiful. The drinks is where they make their money. So we're leaving the Eagle's Nest. Can't complain about the overpriced drinks. We're gonna probably slowly head back to our condo. So we hear some music playing beside the metro station and the museum. And we're gonna try to get in and see what's the action there. Oh yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not going museum. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to see. Is that okay? Yeah. So, uh, not gonna lie, it's a bit of a dead party. There's nobody here. Like, nobody's sitting here. There's only a few people there. The, mu okay. the music keeps cutting off. Maybe we're a bit early, like. Maybe it's actually not a dead party, maybe it's still... It's just started? Yeah, maybe it just started. I mean, there's no people sitting on the pillars and the cushions. No idea. Maybe, maybe this is like a posh people mean, because I see everybody is like dressed properly, and we're just... Yeah, but they call it a festival, so maybe it is one of Maybe. And I'm dressed like this. So we asked one of the security guards what this thing was and he literally just said it was a music festival so I'm not sure if this music festival hasn't started yet if they're just practicing and waiting till later tonight to actually start the whole party or it's just a very very dead music festival but either way we're catching a metro back to our part of the city this is the end of the video 
Let me know what else you want to see. Thank you. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.